We've set up our basic scene and we're now going to start building the rig and we're going to start with the skeleton. So we'll enter the bug rig geometry node and I'll add a skeleton node. I'll make sure that my skeleton is visible and I'll template the file node so that the geometry is also visible. To work with the skeleton node, I'll select the node and press enter in the viewport and I can start drawing my skeleton. In this case, I'll start drawing it in the right viewport and we have a problem right away. The skeleton is snapping onto the geometry and while this can be useful, in this case, I do not want this behavior. To stop the skeleton snapping to the geometry, we need to change the view placement dropdown and we'll change this to freehand. I can now start working on the skeleton and I'll start by drawing the root bone. This is where we come to one of the shortcomings of the skeleton node, in that I can now draw my bone and it is drawing correctly, but this is not the correct placement. Unfortunately, in the version of KineFX which I'm currently using, you cannot enter the points position manually using the skeleton node. And this first bone we are creating has specific requirements that need to be met. This bone we are creating is called the root bone. It is used in game engines to calculate the position of a character based off the animation. This allows you to animate the character using proper 3D space. Without a root bone, the character would be animated at the origin in a loop. Most game engines will use a root bone to calculate root motion, and there are specific requirements that this root bone needs to meet. In this case, while I am personally building this rig for Unity, I'm going to set the rig up to be compliant with Unreal. This is the Unreal documentation for root motion. And this warning statement is the most important thing for us to pay attention to in this documentation. The root bone must be at the origin, or 000, and there must be no rotation on the starting root bone. Now I'm back in Houdini, and the first thing that I'll want to do is to update my geometry. So I'll enter the rig geometry node. I'll need the center of gravity to be at zero on the x and z axes. The mesh is currently too far forward, so I'll want to translate it in z. To stop the mesh from updating, I'll bypass the polyreduce node. I'll then translate my mesh in z, and I'll do this until my center of gravity aligns with zero on the z axis. I'll turn the poly reduce back on. Then in the file node, I'll save the geometry again using the save to disk button. I can then return to the rig geometry node. And under the file node, I can make sure that my geometry has been reloaded. I'll turn off the visibility for the original geometry and I can now start editing my skeleton again. Now I need to draw the root bone and the root bone has to be at 000. And unfortunately, we cannot use the skeleton node to make any corrections after we have placed the joint. So I'll turn my snapping on. I can try and correct the position of this bone using the snapping. With the skeleton node selected, if you press enter in the viewport multiple times, you will toggle between create mode and modify mode. Using modify mode, there are two approaches which I can use. The first is to turn on the tweak mode. This will give me an intuitive way of modifying the points positions. However, the tweak node does not work well with snapping. It is very easy to drag joints off the point where you want them to snap to. So instead, with the point selected, right click in the viewport and you'll get this pop-up menu. The top option should be show handle. Using the handles, snapping will behave as you expect it to. I can now snap the bones root to the origin. I'll snap the effects to the grid as well. I can then turn off snapping and I'll need to make sure that I only move the effector in the Y axis. It can then be moved to its appropriate position for the center of gravity. I can now rename the points. The effector will be the center of gravity and I'll abbreviate this with COG. I would very rarely call this node the center of gravity though. For humanoids, reptiles, or mammals, I would generally call this the hips. That, however, does not apply for an insect. I will rename point zero to root, 
Note that root specifically refers to this being the root bone. If this were a controller, my tendency would be to call it the global scale rotate and transform. That is the root bone created, and this will be the basis for the character. In the next videos, we'll start building out the skeleton.